SpaceX shoots NASA astronauts into space in historic mission. Here's a summary of the article. SpaceX has sent NASA astronauts into space in a historic mission. The successful launch is the first time that humans have been shot into space from U.S. soil since the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011. The astronauts, Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley, will fly on to the International Space Station in a mission that is intended to test the Crew Dragon capsule that Elon Musk's firm hopes represents the future of American spaceflight. The original attempt to launch the rocket had been delayed, after NASA feared that the launch could trigger lightning because of bad weather conditions. Hurley said, SpaceX will go for launch. Let's light this candle, paraphrasing the famous phrase uttered on the launch pad in 1961 by Alan Shepard, the first American launched into space. NASA Chief Jim Bridenstine has said resuming launches of American astronauts on American-made rockets from U.S. soil is the space agency's top priority. The last time NASA launched astronauts into space aboard a brand new vehicle was 40 years ago at the start of the Space Shuttle program. This post received a score of 86,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. With all the shit that is going on, this felt really great to watch and experience. We all needed this. Fantastic job SpaceX and all at NASA who were part of it too. We could use more good news like this. Just wait 19 hours. Tomorrow we get to watch the docking. For those who can't wait, docking can also be observed on Pornhub.com. Doing the Lord's work, I believe the prayer for which is, oh God, oh God, oh God, or something along those lines. Maybe we can get away from 2020 and outer space. Who knows what they will come back to. They will be coming back in September ideally, so who knows. Greater than during the drive, Benkin and Hurley passed former astronaut Garrett Reisman holding a side saying, take me with you. Me too, Mr. Reisman. Me too. I hope it was potato salad. 19 hours till they reach the ISS. Damn do they have movies on those screens? S. Apparently they'll be taking a nap along the way. I would not be able to fall asleep LMAO, but I guess they are experienced enough. On the stream I think I saw the pilot twiddling his thumbs at some point. They're both former STS astronauts. This is cake for them. Yeah they have a combined 1,400 hours in space, have done spacewalks, have each lived on the ISS for weeks at a time, and have been astronauts since the O. I'm sure they aren't too nervous. Not nervous maybe, but it never gets old. Or at least it doesn't for Chris Hadfield, according to an astronaut's guide to life on Earth. I loved this, such an awesome perspective of the journey of becoming an astronaut and you can tell how proud and he is of his job and that he takes all of it so seriously, but always seems to enjoy all the aspects, as an adult it kind of got my hyped for space stuff again, which is why it was so awesome to experience such a huge step today. Watching live on Twitch, truly incredible. SpaceX proved they've got the chops. That was really smooth. Their space suits are some true sci-fi shit. It's insane we can see them moving in real time from inside via a live stream. And congrats to NASA as well of course. Edit, insane. The rocket just landed. I find it so crazy that the streams were on sites like YouTube and Twitch, TV. Imagine the Apollo missions with Twitch live chat. Humanity had a win today. Neil Armstrong taking those first steps was definitely a poggers moment. Challenger explodes, entire chat simultaneously writes Monkus. Pepe hands. Bible thump. Finally, some good news for 2020. Really awesome to watch. It's pretty funny that the only good news of 2020 includes leaving the goddamn planet. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.